Hello and welcome to the Aflac Cup Series Season 12, Race 6 at the Riverhead Raceway in Riverhead, Long Island, New York. The Long Island 120 is up first in today's doubleheader action. As later tonight, under the lights, we will crank them up again. But first, we got to tackle 12 laps. The news came out last week that the Athletic Cup Series has penalized Kyle Larson 25 points and held the team for practice and qualifying for this incident with Chase Briscoe at the last race in or Eugene, Oregon. ACS official statement, we have assessed Kyle Larson a major penalty and docked him 25 driver points for his actions at Nike Motor Speedway. We take the safety of our drivers and crew members very seriously. And so Kyle Larson has went from first in points all the way down to 10th in points, 21 points behind points leader Kyle Busch. William Byron and Kirk Busch both two points behind heading in today's action at Riverhead Raceway. Drivers to watch for, we got the guy on the pole, it's Joey Logano. He grew up racing on flat short tracks, so this is his forte, and he showed it in qualifying yesterday. William Byron is uh, today, the day he finally breaks through for Mr. H. He's been strong all season and looking to capture that title. Justin Bonsignor is back in the Athletic Cup Series. Not gonna tell you who he last raced for because that is today's trivia question. And then Brad Kozlowski crashed the fastest car in practice during qualifying run. Sad for Brad because he was really looking forward to today's race. McDowell and Jimmy Johnson are making their season 12 debuts. Welcome to the Athletic Cup Series season 12. Special thanks to our partners, Altitude Graphics, and Spoiler Diecast, where you can shop NASCAR Diecast and use code ACS12 at checkout. Now, let's take us trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines! And we are fired up and ready to roll off here as Logano beats him down. We're going to check out your starting lineup for the first race at Riverhead. Logano on the pole. Two is outside. Ryan Priest. Chris Busher and William Byron sit in row two. And in row three, we have Justin Bonsignor and Denny Hammer and Hamlet. Kevin Happy Harvick and Ricky Spinhouse in row four. And Eric Amarola, double A, next to Corey LaJoy. Alex Bowman next to New Jersey's Fury. Martin Schurich Jr., this is like a home track for him. And we got Bubba Wallace, last race winner, next to Tyler Reddick. Ross Chastain and Ryan Blaney in row eight. And in row nine, we have Chase Briscoe and Kyle Busch, the points leader. Austin Sindrick and Chase Elliott in row 10. And in row 11, it's Daniel Suarez next to Dubiff. Row 12, Michael McDowell and Jimmy Johnson, the two-time ACS champion. Eric Jones, the season nine champ, next to Harrison Burton. Todd Gillen and Kurt Busch. In row 14, Cole Custer and Big Bat Brad. Kozlowski, Ty Dillon, and C. Bell both wrecked in qualifying as well with Brad Kozlowski, and so did Austin Dillon. And then there's Kyle Larson, who did not get to qualify. So, lap count here, we have 12 laps. That's three miles around this short racetrack. It's 112 degrees on the track. It's a hot one here in New York, 88 degrees. Last time we were here, Bubba Wallace got his first career win, and we are green as Legato takes him across the stripe. Look at Legato take the early lead over Ryan Priest. But Priest, such a good short track racer, he cut his teeth on this type of racing, especially at this racetrack. And then speaking about cutting teeth on this track, look who's battling for second, Justin Bonsignor, multiple time winner here, multiple time champion in the Wellen uh, NASCAR series. Oh, Hamlin goes around, and Eric Amarola gets into him. Looks like Bowman gets clipped and spins out. Caution is out on the racetrack. Denny Hamlin goes around and gets up into Eric Almarola. It's been a miserable season for both of these drivers. Let's see who gets into Hamlin. Oh, it's the purple car of Bubba Wallace who is driving for Denny Hamlin. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to side with Bubba here, especially with this aerial shot we got of this crash. See, Bowman gets tagged by Hamlin's rear bumper at the end there. But you can just kind of see Hamlin kind of just comes down across the nose of Bubba Wallace, Amarola gets into him, and there's Bowman getting into it, unfortunately. But at least Bowman can continue on. Unfortunately for Amarola and Hamlin, they have to get the hook to the garage area because those cars are junked. Bowman will continue on here at the Riverhead Raceway. And Ryan Priest 
has a lead. Bonsignor to his outside. We got star power on the front row when it comes to Riverhead Raceway. Green flag back in the air. Priest gets the jump to the lead. Logano, look at the joy battle for fourth. Oh, we got some cars stacking up here. Four wide. That doesn't work. And it doesn't work. Car spinning hard into the outside wall. Suarez on his side. Talk about a miserable season. One Suarez would soon like to forget. In his first season for Trackhouse Racing, Team Trackhouse. Been absolutely miserable for Suarez. You see Burton kind of forces it four wide as cars get stacked up. Biffle actually kind of forced that. Biffle goes around. So does Custer. Kurt Busch looks like he almost got into it. Eric Jones almost spins out. But Burton's junk. Sindrick's junked. And Todd Gillen at the end there gets wrecked by Brad Kozlowski on accident. Larson gets through just barely. A lot of cars involved in this wreck. Sindrick, Kozlowski, Burton, Gillen, Custer, Jones, Biffle, Kurt Busch, and Daniel Suarez. It was a wild ride for Daniel Suarez, but he is okay. And has been taken to the care center. Should be released soon. No issues there for Suarez. Just kind of a scary crash is all. There's Kurt Busch who got involved in this one. Some damage. Custer spun out. Yeah, this is this might be the biggest wreck of the year. Besides the one at Nike Motor Speedway. Couple, uh, last race. So, who did Justin Bonsinger originally race for in his Affleck Cup Series debut? I'll give you a hint. He made his Affleck Cup Series debut in Season 7. So which team did he make that debut for? You'll find out soon enough. Green flag back in the air. It's Priest on the front row with Bonsignor. And look at Justin Bonsignor using that outside lane. Not really a thing here at Riverhead Raceway. As you see, a lot of cars kind of just merge to the bottom as inside as they can get. There's LaJoy looking to make it too wide for the lead, but Ryan Priest takes advantage of that. And then LaJoy makes a little crossover maneuver as Ryan Priest went in a little too hot. And a three and four. Bonsignor still in the lead. LaJoy second. William Byron battling for third. Bubba Wallace gets squirrely off the nose of Stenhouse. C. Bell trying to get past Jimmy Johnson. And wouldn't you know it, look who's bumper to bumper. Larson and Briscoe. How is this going to work out? Oh, Briscoe tags Truex. It goes up into the wall. Hard hit for Chase Briscoe. Wouldn't you know it, it's off the bumper of Kyle Larson. Oh my goodness. Now, this is easily just a racing accident as Briscoe ends up getting into Truex there, trying to get to position. Truex goes over the tire barrier on the inside track and Briscoe checks up Larson. I mean, Larson's already on Briscoe's bumper. No fault to Larson there, but Briscoe hard into the outside wall. And here's your answer to cue the duck. Bonsinger drove for H. Scott Motorsports and filled in for Justin Allgaier in the number 51. Allgaier wasn't hurt. H. Scott just wanted this talented driver in the number 51. Green flag back in the air. Bonsinger, Priest, green flag. Oh, LaJoy spins the tires and Priest gets spun out by Logano. Priest is stuck on the tire barriers and that's going to force a caution. Oh my goodness, Ryan Priest has got to be livid. He's already kind of a hot-headed driver. LaJoy spun his tires, and Priest kind of tried to check up and give him some grace, but Logano not having it. Logano looked to the inside as soon as he could, and as soon as Priest tried to pass LaJoy, it was over. Ryan Priest on the tire barrier. Bonson, you were going to elect the outside lane, once again here, this time it's William Byron to his inside. Green flag back in the air. Bonsignor does not get the jump he wanted, and Byron does. Byron takes the lead with three laps to go. Corey LaJoy to second. Bonsignor is going to fall all the way back to fifth place. That's a questionable restarting spot. I would have chose the bottom, but Bonsignor chose the top. Now it's Byron. He gets the bumper from LaJoy as we come to the white flag. Corey LaJoy having a fantastic season, seeking his opportunity to win, and he's going to scoop to the victory here at Riverhead and win the Long Island 120. How about that for Corey LaJoy? First Aflac Cup Series win. That is impressive. Corey LaJoy going to take Spire Motorsports to victory lane, and they got to race this car again tonight. 
So you don't want to do too many burnouts. But Joy gets to go to victory lane and celebrate Father Randy jumping up and down for Joy. And oh my goodness, what a move for the lead. Just moves will he be to get that first career win. William Byron, though, is atop the point standings. He gets the last laugh in this one. Ross Chastain moves into second. Tyler Reddick up to third. Kyle Busch drops from first to fourth. Elliott is up to fifth. Kurt Busch down to sixth in points. Bubba Wallace, Chris Buescher, Logano, and Kyle Larson maintains the 10th position. Corey LaJoy up to 11th, just 40 points out of that championship race. Briscoe, Truex, Kozlowski, Harvick, C. Bell, Bowman, Stenhouse, Sindrick, and Austin Dillon. Denny Hamlin dropped to 21st. Ryan Blaney stagnating in the mid-20s. Eric Amarola having a frustrating season. So is Eric Jones. Just. And there's the Biff. Bonsignor passing Kimi Raikkonen, the other Project 91 driver this season. Finishing results here at Riverhead Raceway. Corey LaJoy gets the victory. Stenhouse with a nice top five. Byron goes from the lead, coming to the white flag. All the way down to fourth with that bump and run from LaJoy. Masterclass move there. Bonsignor getting a top five. Not bad. Now as we check out these race results. For tonight, there is no qualifying. The drivers will be inverted based on finishing the race. If you DNF'd, you will not be able to have that invert. So Biffle was the last place driver on the track. So he will have the pole in that 26th position tonight for the race. Kind of a reward for the drivers that started in, in the back. So Biffle will be on the pole tonight with Custer to his outside. So stay tuned. Stay here because tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, we are going night racing at the Riverhead Raceway again for 20 laps this time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to my partners again. This is JT24, JM26, signing out.